I just can't anymore. <sighs> I just saw uh, another character. Mind y'all. Toys and cartoons are not real. Well, they're real, but they're not, you know. But Pepe Le Pew bit the dust in 2021 for promoting rape culture. I get it. I get it. <clears throat> I can see how someone could stretch Pepe Le Pew as a cartoon. To, uh, for, you know, oh, he's, mm, whatever. I could see how you could stretch it. But, it's a fucking cartoon, and it's supposed to be around the whole madly falling head over heels in love, I'll fall at the end of the deserves kind of thing. I get it. Stupid little cat runs away from Pepe Le Pew all the damn time. I fucking get it. But God dang shit, son. When did our country become so fucking spineless and so fucking weak emotionally and mentally that y'all get so upset and cry baby wah, 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 snowflake ass over a damn cartoon and a potato head and a fucking Dr. Seuss book? Hell, never in my life did I think that South Park South Park would outlast Dr. Seuss. What the fuck, you soft-ass liberals? Holy shit, you're pussies. You're weak, emotionally, mentally, probably physically. Damn, shit. Comedians can't make jokes about shit that y'all are uncomfortable with because of cancel culture this cancel this cancel culture is stupid <laughs> if you don't like something because it offends you so build a bridge and get over it I mean damn shit I'm appalled I'm, I'm no old man by, I, I, I'm not old by no means alright I was born in 88. I'm going to be 33 in a, in a couple of weeks. I'm not... I mean, I guess I could be old considering a lot of people, but shit. I'm a millennial. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm... Of course, I'm in that gap. Right there at the mid to late 80s where we still had a lot of traditional stuff, but we still had technology or technology was advancing so far in that gap of time. Uh... So I still hold on to some, some traditional yes ma'am, no ma'am. Give people their distance, mind your own business, respect people even if you don't agree with them. Give them the respect that they feel they deserve. Even if you don't think that they deserve it. Because it's just a fucking polite way to be. Draw a line in the sand, stand your ground, and don't run your mouth because somebody's liable to pop you in the mouth. So that's how I grew up. Like Growing up, I got bullied as a kid. I learned to fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, my dad said, well, if you want to stop bullying, you punch him in the nose. Make sure when you hit him in the nose, aim for the back of their head. Same dude, when I was in eighth grade, on the bus, constantly bullying me. He's, I don't know, he's like a ninth or a tenth grader, bullying me all the time. Look, did I tell you what? I, I started hitting him in the nose. And guess what? I got my ass kicked a bunch of times. But eventually... He got tired of me punching him in the nose, and he started leaving me alone. Now, yeah, I got my ass kicked a lot. But you know what? I always aim for that nose. Eventually, he got tired of getting it broke. You see what I'm saying? So, instead of, wah, 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 help me, help me, help your fucking self. Stop being pussies. The cartoons. I'm pretty sure Mr. Potato Head is already gender neutral. Always has been. I don't see no little... Dangling a little, you know, whoop, on him. It's a fucking toy. <laughs> I mean, damn. Please. 
ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please, whatever non-binary, whatever, I don't care, stop being offended. If you are offended, look, man, shit, people get offended. The best thing you do is like, well, shit, it could have been worse. I could have got shot because I live in South Side of Chicago. But guess what? You don't. Or you may. You may. If you live there, if you live in South Side of Chicago, you're probably not soft like that. I'm be honest with you, you're probably real tough. Uh, but really, seriously, all these, ugh. Ladies and gentlemen, please, God, when did this country get so soft? And I don't like to point fingers, but damn, it's really starting to look like liberals had a little something to do with that. It's really starting to look that way. I consider myself a, a center-leaning person, so I agree with some Democrat stuff. I agree with some Republican stuff. I disagree with some Democrat stuff. I disagree with some Republican stuff. You know, I've kind of got this. I try to keep that happy median in between of not being extremely far right and extremely far left. I try to keep that happy medium of let me keep an open mind because there's a chance that I might be wrong. If I'm not, I'll stand my ground and I'll I'll find facts to justify and prove my case or my point. But if I'm wrong, there's always that chance that I'm not right, that, I, that I'm wrong and I'm looking at it wrong or, you know, I keep that open mind of I might be wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, did you ever think that you just might be wrong? Being offended is no reason to cancel somebody or cancel a show or a fucking book. Dr. Seuss, man. Oh, God. Mm. Y'all are soft. Too soft. Can confirm. I'm going back to work. For the love of Christ. It's 2021. Please don't make it worse than 2020 because you're offended. Just let it go. Just be offended in your home, in your world. Leave the rest of us on the outside of your world alone. Just let us be happy in our ignorance and our bliss. Because we already can't stand our... our elected officials so keep your cancel culture to yourself please I'm asking please drink water and drive on